Thank you for tuning in to watch this video on editing and cleaning point cloud data in Erdos Imagine 2018 version 16.5. In our previous video, we demonstrated how users can open point clouds and work on them by changing their display properties. Follow the link in the description of this video to view our previous video on working with point clouds if you haven't viewed it yet. Erdos Imagine provides users with tools to interactively edit point cloud data within its point cloud workspace. The ability to interactively edit points may be necessary to refine the results of automatic tasks such as classification. Otis Imagine has tools for flattening surfaces, removing bias, deleting points and reclassification that help users to clean their data. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to do the following. So let's begin. Firstly, we need to open or load our point cloud data into the viewer and proceed to select a group of points within our database that we'd like to edit. Click the Open Button folder and open a point cloud file. The selected file is added into the Contents panel of Erdos Imagine. In this demonstration, we will use point cloud data for an open cast quarry mine. Ensure that the file you have opened is selected in the Contents panel. Style the points by elevation. If the points are taking a long time to display, change the point cloud budget from the preferences settings. From the Point Cloud tab under the Edit group, click on the arrow on the Select By list and choose either Select by Box, Select by Polygon, Select by Region. Choose the Select by Polygon option. The color of the selected points changes to white. You can resize the box by dragging one of the vertices that display along its boundaries or rotate the box by dragging the rotation handle in the direction that you want. From the Point Cloud tab under the Edit group, click on Constant to open the Set Constant Z dialog. Specify a value to use in the Set Constant Z with field. We will set the number to 500. Click Apply and Close to save your changes and close the Set Constant Z dialog. Note that the points have been changed to have the same Z value and their color has been changed as well. We start by adding profile views to assist us in viewing our data. Open the Point Cloud tab from the Profile group and expand the Rectangle Profile to select the Polygon Profile option. Digitize the Profile Path in the 2D view by using the left mouse button. Double click to complete digitizing the Profile Path. Three views are added. Overall Profile, Side View Profile and Front View Profile. You can turn these windows on and off as and when you need them. Leave the Side and Front Views on. Select a group of points in one of the following viewers. 2D, Side View Profile or Front View Profile. Elevation Offset dialog can be accessed from the Point Cloud tab under the Edit. Specify a value to use to offset the Z value of selected points in the Offset By field. We will set the value to 10. Click Apply and Close to close the Offset dialog. Notice that the points are now offset by 10 meters. Use the undo button to discard the changes made. Click the delete measurement graphics to remove the profile line from the viewer. With the same point clouds file open, we can reclassify any points. Change the color by option. 
to classification. Notice that all the points in the dataset don't have any classes associated with them. To assist us with identifying the different classes, we will color the points using the RGD option. This will change the style of the points to a true color image composite and assist us to identify features better. We will zoom into a building and select all the points that make up the building. Take care not to select points from other classes. From the edit group, select Reclassify to open the Reclassify dialog. Note that at present, all the points belong to class 0, or never classified. Right-click the selected rows in the new class name column in row 1 and select Building from the list to change the classification. Click Apply and Close to save your changes and close the Reclassify dialog. Now change the Color By option to Classification. Notice that a new classification called Buildings has been added. Lastly, we'll demonstrate how to delete points from your file. Select a sample of points you'd like to delete from the file. From the edit group, click the delete button to delete points from the 2D view. Note that the deleted points are not physically deleted from the file, but rather their classification bit is set to withheld. Should you want to delete the points permanently, you must save to a new file using the Save As option. And that's it for this video. As demonstrated, Erdis Imagine provides the user with tools and supporting views for basic and advanced point cloud editing to suit any application. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with future content by the Geodata Design team.